Hey, do you guys have these magazines in the UK? Just wondering. Um, let me grab one. Hold on. Actually, let me just point the camera. Got Road Bike Action Magazine. That's a pretty good one. Um, I like the stories in there. And Mountain Bike Action Magazine. Um, I don't read that one as much because I'm not a mountain biker, but I do check it out occasionally. And then there's also there's also this the Road Bike 2018 Action, Road Bike Action Magazine 2018 Buyer's Guide. Let me see what's cool in here. Let's check it out. Has anyone seen these knitted Jiro shoes? They look super comfortable. Must must feel like the knitted uh, Nike running shoes. I heard a lot of good things about knitted shoes, but I don't know about getting dirt or mud or rain on them. I don't know if they would discolor, but I mean, if you got a black knitted shoe, probably no big deal. Just gonna skim through this magazine and show you some cool things that I might find in here. Maybe it might be of interest to you for this vlog. So I keep seeing this, um, these e-bikes, e-road bikes. Um, I guess they're becoming more popular of a thing now. I mean, I'm all for it. Um, I know it's not for sporting purposes. It's for commuting, for people who want to commute with an extra boost for probably people who want to start getting into road cycling and maybe they want to go longer or climb up hills that they couldn't climb up otherwise they can use a e-bike which hopefully it's the type that's um, pedal assist which like if you put out 100 watts into the pedal it would give you an extra 100 watt boost so it would effectively put you at 200 watts uh, which is pretty good if you could only pedal 100 watts and to get another extra 100 on top of that using one of these e-bikes and you know anything to get more cyclists out there on the road more cyclists on a road usually equates out to safer roads and more car to cyclist awareness which is good for cycling cycling community and the world as far as decreasing pollution looks like there's all kinds of e-bikes there's one here by emotion looks like focus makes one um, this is a Focus Focus Project Y road bike. That's also I think it's also an e-bike. Looks like there's some kind of motor device in the down tube, possibly. I mean, it seems like they're on the right track. Focus has got all these nice colors on these bikes, so could be a good thing. And they're disc brake equipped, so e-bike plus road bike plus disc brake, is that the future? The shape of power of things to come, shape and power, maybe, never really rode one myself, but um, I know some people who own the specialized turbo e-bike so and they like it could be a thing looks like specialized has a new saddle right there the specialized power pro elaston three hundred dollars um i use the power pro saddle on two of my bikes i love that saddle um, i'm not sure what saddle doily burger is using nowadays i know he was using the double nose one at one point oh no no he's using the brooks c17 rivet saddle that's right 
I, ho I hope that saddle um, is a really good saddle for him because I, I kind of kind of feel his pain. You know, I've been there searching for saddles that just weren't all that comfortable and always getting not really saddle sores but just you know you know what I mean I think this is interesting the new the new zip 454 NSW disc that has like sawtooth looking designs in it that's supposed to make it more arrow and um, less crosswind unfriendly I think that's super interesting looks kind of like a saw blade they're jagged that's you know zip is always coming up with these proprietary things but um, everyone else kind of looks the same as far as their wheel sets um, head looks like they have a super wide profile on that wheel which is good I'm all for wider rims um, I have a friend who uses these lightweights he used them for cycle to the sun those are really expensive wheel sets 6500 just for the wheel set lightweight but I guess they're super nice wheels I'm really liking these pearly zoomy shoes. Maybe not these bright yellow ones, but I like that the bowls are offset and the bottom has like this chrome, shiny chrome blinged out bottom look. Gives it some pop. Interesting shoes. But the carbon bottom is always timeless as well. Um, I like that shoes are have come a long way and they're getting more rad designs stay rad bunt bunt is a shoe that i would like to try the vapor in particular um i don't know about the width they look wide but they look super stiff which they're probably a great shoe for sprinting b-o-n-t bunt cycling i think they were also a ski ski accessory um, and ski shoe brand as well um, what else helmets helmets kind of helmets are always good new helmet technology looks like prices are coming down with the nice helmets too which is good more helmets helmets Let's check out some other. Yeah, I guess gravel is a thing. Made it into the buyer's guide. Gravel bikes. There's a Mossy here, an Alchemy, Chiron. Gravel bikes. What do you think? Do you like gravel bikes? Do you dislike gravel bikes? So many reviews on this Cannondale Slate. Or Bea Terra. That's an amazing bike. A lot of reviews on YouTube about this bike. What else? Lauf, I think that's a German brand. Lauf, they have that fancy, fancy looking fork. Let me move my camera. There we go. They got that fancy looking fork. Lauf, what do you think of that fork? Fork suspension interesting would you use it i would use it given the right type of terrain i guess um, and turner cyclosis very eye popping eye catching bike travel bike there probably the raddest colorway i've seen on a bike don't know if I would rock it though. And then looks like of course titanium gravel bike classic. This is a Sage P 
PDX CX. Looks pretty amazing. You ever notice how bar tape can just change the whole dynamic of a bike? Titanium. Just for the frame, for this titanium frame, it's $2,900. Check out some more bikes. I think there's Norco Search right here in the faded colorway down here. Celeste to fade to black is a super nice gravel bike that can fit some beefy tires. Looks like the Norco Search Ultegra retails for $31.99 and they are a Canadian for all my Filipino people out there. Canadian brand. Specialized Crux, but that's a cyclocross bike. I guess it can be used for gravel as well. I didn't know didn't know Scott made a gravel bike. There it is. The Scott Addict Gravel 10. I kind of don't like that gravel gravel bikes have the same name as their road bike counterparts. Like Scott has an addict in the road world. He should have chose a different name for the gravel bike. I don't know. That's just my two cents. Wow, check out this. Crank Brothers Click Pump. Floor pump with digital gauge. $230 digital gauge track pump what's the most money you would spend on a track pump let me know in the comments down below how far would you spend check this out the Jean de Maren Tour de France 2015 had to climb up that monster of a hairpin climb look at that I gotta google that it says, riders in the 2015 Tour de France had this back and forth monster to climb during stage 18 from Gap to Saint Jean de Marin. Amazing. Something that's always been on my mind if money was not an issue, would you go full Dura East? Would you go Quark? Would you go rotor with Q rings do you even believe in Q rings interesting topics and is this four crank spider really stiffer than the five I don't know don't know questions that I ponder looks like there's another power meter on the market the X pedal pedal which is KEO cleat compatible interesting looks like they're powered by AA batteries and the price is $1100 red oh I take that back look also has a power pedal here the look 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 uh, power pedals and plus and price is $1199 I see this every year in the buyer's guide. The road bike look uh, 795. That bike. Such a fast, striking looking frame. Super aggressive looking frame. Um, $10,999. Any of you own that bike or know someone who does? It's a very eye catching bike looks fast here's another interesting thing Renovo hardwood bike any of you know someone who rides a wooden bike besides that durian rider guy anyone else if I didn't already own two road bikes I would definitely get a, a Villiers Trestina road bike they're just so eye-catching. Anyone else like Villiers? I think their designs are beautiful. 
4450 for this Villier Cento 10 AIR and this one doesn't have disc brakes I would probably get the disc brake version but I think their designs are just amazing and this is the Dura East Dura East version look at this the styling on the frame so artistic and arrow looking such a nice looking bike don't know how it rides but looks amazing anyone else notice how much BMC has became popular in the past two years it seems like everybody's talking about BMC I just talked about BMC look at these sweet zero knitted shoes isn't that freaking amazing if you want to add some color to your bike you could always get these crank brothers colored pedals besides bar tape bar tape's always a good one too would you wear a pink helmet I would I think I could rock a pink helmet with some pink uh, uh, Oakley jawbreakers what do you guys think about all this vertical compliance stuff in, in bikes nowadays? Check out this Villiers, another Villiers that I think looks amazing. This is the Cento 10 NDR and it's got some ActiFlex system in it. Um, which kind of looks like that down there. Some kind of coupler dampening system in the rear triangle I think that's amazing I know some other companies are doing that too Specialized has their Roubaix that has something similar in that area the, the junction between the, the seat tube and the, the seat stays interesting stuff all right that has been, and then there's Chris Froome. That has been talking about cool stuff from 2018 Buyer's Guide. Bye-bye.